Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to introduce you to a program called Screen, which is really useful if you ever find yourself regularly remoting into a remote computer like a Raspberry Pi through something like SSH. Uh, so this could be done with a terminal if you're on a Mac or Linux, or if you are on PC using PuTTY. So I'm going to log into my Raspberry Pi here, and now I'm logged in. So there's a bit of a problem here. Let's say I navigate to my desktop. I have a program here called Count Up. And if I launch this, you see that it's just counting up. It's just updating a counter field. Now, this will run for a while, and I can't do anything while this counter is counting. I could, if I wanted to launch another program, open up a new window on my terminal and log in that way. Or I could stop this program and then do something else. Uh, but let's say I wanted to keep this program running. Another issue that we have is let's say I were to close this instance of terminal and just exit out of it, this program stops. Now, I mean, a counter's not really all that uh, interesting, but let's say if this was something like a, like a home automation system where it's running a thermostat, you don't, want you, you don't want to have to be constantly logged in to be able to keep your program running. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can keep a program running while you're no longer connected to the device. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is type in sudo apt-get install screen. And I've already done this, so it doesn't take very long. This will download and install the program called screen. Now I'm going to navigate back to my root directory so we can keep track of what's going on here. If I type in screen-list, we see that no screens exist. What a screen is, and I'll show you right now, I'm going to create a new screen by specifying capital S. I'm going to call it counter it all of a sudden moved me to a new screen. This is like a new terminal window that's opened. And here I can navigate to my desktop and I can start running that program that I had called countup.py. Now if I want to get back to my main screen, all I have to do is hit control A and then control D. And that takes me back to where I was before. And we see here I'm in my root directory. And now if I list screens that exist, it's the, it shows that I have a screen here called counter. Now I never exited that program, remember? I just exited the screen. So I can log back into that screen by typing in screen-r counter. And we see that this program here is still running. So we're up around 150-ish, so control A, control D, I exit. Now I'm going to exit my, so I'm back to my main screen here. I'm now going to exit my SSH instance. So now I've logged out and I'm back to the like root directory of my uh, iMac here. And now if I were to log into my Raspberry Pi again through SSH, I can take a look at screens that are currently running and I see counter is running there still. So if I type in screen-r counter, we see that that software is still running. So this is one way where you can maintain having a program run uh, when you are no longer interested in actually being logged into it. So control A, control D, I'm going to exit out again. And you can have more than one screen. So let's say I create a new one, and this one is going to be called not counting. <clears throat> I'm now logged into here, and I can navigate around. I can, let's say I go to my desktop, we can see that, you know, I'm, I'm not looking at you know, I'm not looking at running the program, I do whatever I want here. I can then control A, control D, get out back to my main screen. And then I could log into the counter screen again, which continues to run. Or let's say if I were to go to the not counting screen, counting, I'm here again. And from here, I could go into the counter screen. So I could, from within a screen, go to a new screen. So now I'm at uh, that counter screen that has always been running in the background. Now the problem here is if I go control A, control D, it takes me back to my root screen. And if I list the screens that exist, we see that I'm still, I have my not counting screen attached to my counter screen. So if I want to detach it, I have to use the command D to detach. And I'm going to detach counter. And now if I were to return to my not counting screen, we see that I have actually been detached, control A, control D. If I take a look at my counter screen, here I am still running that program in the background. So you can navigate through all kinds of different screens here while only having one instance of the terminal open. 
So if we keep creating screens, we're eventually going to have a huge list of screens and eventually you're going to want to terminate one. So you can terminate them by issuing a command to kill them. You have to specify which screen you want to kill. You type in screen s counter if I want to kill the counter screen and then X to send a command and you say kill. Now if we take a look at screens that are available, we only have the not counting screen, which we could still log into if we wanted to. See? And it shows the display that it had before, even though the counter screen is now dead. So control A, control D, I'm back at my main screen. There's a whole bunch of other options you could take a look at. If you just type in screen dash dash help, it gives you all uh, things you can do with screen. And you can look through this if you wanna see what other options you have out there. So I just thought I'd quickly put this one together for you guys, show you that this kind of uh, uh, program exists because this really helps if you are launching programs remotely on a device like a Raspberry Pi. For more tutorials like this, visit thezanshow.com.